Hello guys, it's me, Coach Ruth, and welcome to the Fly Talk series. This is a series where we talk about the cabin crew career path, what happens in flight and on the ground. This series aims to inspire, inform, and hopefully get you a glimpse of what it's like to be a flight attendant and going after your dreams. For today's episode, we are doing an interview with a cabin crew who is currently working for Saudia Airlines. Uh, she has been working with them for four years and a half now, and she graduated at Pat's College of Aeronautics with a bachelor's degree of tourism management. She always have a passion in helping and serving people, and that's why her previous experiences before becoming a flight attendant were also customer service related. So she also loves music and art, and I'm sure we're going to learn a lot from her today. So if you're excited, let us all welcome Miss Rosette De La Pena. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yung smile ko talaga. <laughs> this is Miss Rosette. Hi, Miss Rosette. How are you? I'm very good and it's it's a good morning here. <laughs> Ay, saan ka pala located ngayon para ano in the know naman ng ating mga audience? Um, nasa London ako. Oh. Wow, bonggo. Yes. She's in London right now. <laughs> so magpakilala ka naman, dito. magpakilala ka naman sa ating mga audience like um ikaw yung name mo, airline company, you're flying, single or married, nag flying school ka ba, <laughs> something like that. Just a brief introduction. <laughs> Okay. Um, my name is Rosette. <laughs> for those who do not know, um, I'm a flight attendant for Saudi Arabian Airlines for four years and a half now, and I'm currently not flying at the moment because of the pandemic. I decided to rest my wings for a while, <laughs> but hopefully next year on January, I'll be flying and spread my wings again. Yeah, I'm married. I'm happily married. That's why I'm here in the UK because my husband lives here. So, yeah, I'm stuck here with him. <laughs> yeah, it and also, I I wala wala. Wala pa. Wala pa. Okay. So far wala pa. <laughs> uh, we're, we're still not planning pa. Oh, Ayun. And yeah, and also um what? I just want to take this opportunity, Miss Ruth. Just just to tell you that you when I was an aspirant, aspirant <laughs> Um, I was watching your videos and you helped me a lot. Really? Really? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Nama. You helped me a lot. And um, I believe that you've always been a part of my cabin crew journey. So, thank you for having me. Yay! Ayan, nakikisali ang aking son. Sorry, ha? Hello! Oh my God, it's so cute! Sigurado ka, hindi pa kayo mag-start. Parang nag-iisip na ako, teka. Thank you! What's your name? It's River. Say hi, River! Hi! Hi! Hi, River! Hi! How are you? <laughs> Go to Dada. You play with us. So cute. <laughs> Wait lang. Nag-iisip na tuloy ako. <laughs> Char. <laughs> Mas cute pa yung isa yung bunso. Sorry. Sorry mga aspirants. Medyo na natin na natin usapan. Okay, we will start now with the interview proper. Okay, so I'm here okay. to grill Miss Rosette. I have lots of juicy things that I'm sure all our audience are also interested to know. And you mm. know, they are dying to know about this question. So, mm -hmm. the first question for you, sana, gusto ko sana malaman is, what made you decide to pursue a career in flight attendant? Aside from my videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aside from your videos. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, this, uh, this is a bit emotional story. Right. But I'm going to share it to you anyway. Um, it was actually my mom's dream for me. And at first, I was hesitant to take um, tourism as my course in college because that time, nursing was in demand. So as a student, I was thinking about what's best for my future. So, but then she, she convinced me to, to take tourism and because she wanted to travel the world and she wanted to see me wearing the flight attendant uniform, you know, the glamorous flight attendant uniform. And so I granted her wish. But unfortunately, after my graduation, she died um, of cancer. So um, she was my, in she was, no, she, not she was. <laughs> She's my inspiration and will always be. 
and um, sometimes when I look up to the sky, I was talking to her and say, "No, FA na po ako." And I think that's the greatest gift I ever gave to my mom. Yeah. ako <laughs> Oh my God, na iyak din ako. <laughs> Sorry, na iyak ako siya. Uh, okay lang. Akalain mo to think na most mothers during at that time, no, that time na college tayo, I think that era talagang ipupush mm-hmm. pag nursing kahit ayo. Totoo Pero, yan. Mm-hmm. Talaga, ipupush ka talaga maging MA. Mm-hmm. So you're so yes. lucky. Uh, I mean, she is one of a kind of a mother na hindi siya ganun. Hindi siya kagaya ng ibang moms, di ba? Totoo. So I'm sure wherever Totoo. she is and I'm very sorry for your loss in the first place. I'm very mm. sorry for your That's loss. That's fine, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I think wherever she is, she is very proud of where you are right now. Yes, yes, yes. I can feel it. Siya yung nagbabantay sa'yo sa flight. Totoo. Talaga <laughs> 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 Wow. Should, must have been so hard for you. I could not imagine what you're yeah, experiencing yeah. at all. Pero mm-hmm. thank you for sharing with us your very ano heartfelt story. It's not easy to yeah. open up about those things, no? <laughs> yes, yes, I know. So, so, so talaga, yun nakapag decide ka na nung push na. Oo, yun talaga. Gusto ko kasi niyang maka-travel, you know. Tapos, Sempre gusto ko din naman pero parang siya lang talaga yung nahirapan ka ba? <laughs> nahirapan ka ba na mag makuha yung position after graduation or yung first time na nag-apply ka nakuha mo siya agad? Um actually wala yung confidence level ko dati parang sobrang baba pa. Um nag nagtrabaho ako sa sa PAL pero as a ground staff. Mm-hmm. So pag nakikita ko yung mga ano yung mga PAL cabin crew gusto ko maging katulad nila. Mm-hmm. Parang ang ganda nila, kahit medyo masungit yung iba. <laughs> How long? Hindi na yung susual. It was um, one year lang naman. Mm-hmm. Tapos, nung when my mom died, I decided to um, look for another experience. So, nagpunta ako sa Qatar. Kasi mm-hmm. I was dreaming to be a Qatar Airways flight attendant. <laughs> Kasi sobrang nagbo-boom that time ang Qatar mm-hmm. Airways. So, parang as an aspir- aspirant, diba? Parang gusto mo Qatar Airways. So, my my auntie is living in in Qatar for many years. So, she helped me. Siya yung nagkumuha sa akin doon. Pero that time, hindi nag-walk um, in applicants ang Qatar Airways. So, sabi ko, uh, so nag-work ako as a sales assistant sa isang company for four years. Wow, oh. din ako ng four years sa Qatar. Oo. Tapos, then I decided, hindi, kailangan ko talagang ano, i-pursue to mm-hmm. kasi for my mom nga. Yan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I went back to the Philippines to start applying for um, flight attendant. Yeah. Tapos, yung first try ko sa Saudi uh, I got accepted. Wow. Yeah. Totally, no? Some people kasi Mami. when you're already there, they will think, ay, baka siguro, they will assume na baka nakuha mo agad yun. Pero hindi. You have to prove, guys. You have to ask their story. Hindi rin madali. Matagal pa pala, you know, biruin mo yun. Uh, sa Ilang mga nakikinig sa atin, hindi rin siya. Parang five years din yung hinintay. Oo, oh, oh, five diba? years five din. Years din. Sometimes it, mm-hmm. I believe na sometimes yung emotional uh, readiness mo, it really affects it. Hindi lang totoo. Kasi of course you graduated with a bachelor of science in tourism, you're really geared towards that career, di ba? Mm-hmm. And para namang prepared ka na ilang years ka na naga ano prepare. Pero uh, unfortunately, pag graduate mo sometimes you just need siguro the right time. You know, there's the right mm-hmm. time for you to try or something like that. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, as in, you need to prepare yourself talaga for this. Okay. Mm. I also want to know, Sana Miss Rosette, uh, for the benefit of those listening, when you were applying, di ba sabi mo, um, you, were apply, you went home to the Philippines to apply sa iba't iba mm-hmm. airlines. Yeah. When, in the process of applying, what was the biggest insecurity na na-feel mo nung nandun ka na sa moment na naghahanap ka na ng work or papunta ka na sa interview? 
oh, okay, my biggest insecurity, um, yung weight ko talaga. <laughs> I was underweight uh, actually up until now <laughs> because I ate a lot but my pat- metabolism is just so fast so I remember the time that they sent me home because my height and my weight are not proportioned mm-hmm. that I have to gain weight first before proceeding to the next step so mm-hmm. yeah actually ngayon sa company ko sa Saudi ah, they're still asking us or they're still checking our weight every three months so continuous pa rin yung BMI check chart <laughs> whatever yung BMI mo kailangan talagang proportion all the time kahit flying ka na Yun. tama it really strike me yung Saudi among all the other airlines they're very particular with the BMI So, yes, they are. Problema din siya kahit underweight, guys. Siguro, Totoo. kasabihin ng iba, ah, madali lang yun. Iba nga kasi, ano daw, mm-hmm. overweight. Pero, I've been in her shoes before, in your shoes before. Talagang mm-hmm. naglalagay ako ng coins. <laughs> Totoo. <laughs> Mati, hindi ko yun naisip. <laughs> Ay, <laughs> Ay, naku, hindi man na kumabot ng 1 kg yung coins. Ang bigat-bigat. Tapos, yung friend ko, yung cellphone niya, iniipit niya sa palda ko yung mga cellphone na mabibigat. <laughs> Oh, Alam mo kung power bank nun? Yun kasi yung mabigat eh. Power bank nung time na yun. Grabe na alala ko yung journey. <laughs> Sorry ha. Yun, okay lang. Well. Out so, Dia, yun yung na-experience ko rin talaga. Mm-hmm. Eh, konting-konti na lang talaga. <laughs> Actually, ako 2 kilos, Miss Ruth. So, Kulang. Mahirap, oh. mahirap magdala ng 2 kilos. <laughs> Naalala ko yung mga 5-5. Ina-plastic ko yan, um, ina-ano ko yan, masking tape. <laughs> <laughs> tapos nakaganyan siya naka-roll and dami nasa ano bulsa ng jacket ko tapos di ba may bulsa pa yan sa loob ala <laughs> buti nga hindi nag-check di ba yung parang hindi tanggalin yung jacket sana hindi tanggalin yung jacket <laughs> nag-check ng way. alam mo yun pa sa sa Saudi ah um, they're asking us to remove our blazer our <laughs> uniform so wala ka talagang kawala so buti na lang sa application no. hindi <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> Baka na-gets na nila. <laughs> Oo. May idea na sila. Masalano <laughs> namin yun. Sorry. <laughs> We're just oh, sharing okay. our experiences here. <laughs> Totoo yun. Ay, nako. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, um, next thing I want to learn sana or or want to ask you, Ms. Rosette, is for the... For the ones who is just still starting out, starting at their journey to become a flight attendant, what is your top tip? Pinaka number one, your top tip for mm-hmm. our aspirants. Okay, um, I think just apply, apply, and apply. Just don't give up. Don't give up. Right? Um, and don't worry about rejections, because. For me, rejections will help you improve yourself. Uh, yeah, that's what happened to me. Actually, I I tried, I applied to Cebu Pacific before, but I got rejected. I didn't pass the group interview because I wasn't prepared. I don't have any idea about the process. It was my first time. So I learned from my mistakes. I started watching videos, reading blogs, of course, through the help of Miss Ruth. <laughs> So when I had my interview in, in Saudi, uh, I was prepared. I'm prepared, and I, I believe that I did my best. That's why I get this job. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great tip. Actually, that's very yes. important to never give up. You will always stumble um, every now and then, but yeah, masakit. Pero bangon, bangon siya. Laban pa rin. Oo. Diba? Oo. Diba sabi nga, fall down seven times, stand up Get eight. Up eight. Oo. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for reminding us, Ms. Rosette. That's a really nice quote. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another thing, Sana, I want to ask you is, um, now that you have become a flight attendant, you have realized what most of our viewers are probably just dreaming about or aspiring or just you know they're just imagining what it's like but for you mm-hmm. that you're that a flight attendant for four years now in your mm-hmm. experience what is your favorite part of becoming a flight attendant 
I think alam na nila yung sagot dito. <laughs> And I think lahat ng flight attendant, ito talaga yung sasabihin nila. Of course, traveling the world. Um, um, for me, it's an intangible investment for yourself. Na walang makakakuha. No one could ever take from you. So, imagine you are paid to travel. You, you get to see the world for free. I think that's the the best job in the world. Tapos you meet new people, you learn their cultures, matitikman yung mga authentic foods everywhere in the world. So para yun talaga sobrang amazing. Curious lang ako no. I hope it's okay uh, to ask you. <laughs> Kasi for yes. sure all our listeners or or the people watching our show right now, they might be <laughs> Wondering, <laughs> I am wondering, is it uh, through becoming a flight attendant that you met your husband? Is it uh, because of it or somewhere else? Um, yes, definitely. You're right, Miss Ruth. <laughs> How did you meet? Yeah, <laughs> we <laughs> met. <laughs> Actually, we met during layover. Mm. We were, you know, we were both... Um, broken that time. <laughs> so, nasali over ako. Nag-check lang ako online. So, I met him online. Mm-hmm. Yes, I met him online. Parang, just, parang may gusto lang akong kausa. Para lang malibang ako, di ba? <laughs> I was really broken. So, ayun, I met him. Uh, actually, parang dati, iniisip ko online. Parang, walang true love kang makikita. Parang, di ba? Mm-hmm. Parang, have fun lang. Ganun. Pero, I I saw that he is really serious about me. Aww. So, yun, doon na, doon na nag-start yung, yung That's ano. That's amazing. So, yes. it really depends. I, I really think na it, if you're online, it really depends on, kasi ikaw yung babae, it really depends on how you carry yourself to Mm-mm. get the respect. It, it depends Mm-mm. on whether you met online or on the coffee shop. Oh. Really about you, no? Yes, <laughs> you're actually, person. you're right. Because oh. online is oh. just uh, another way. Because I also met my husband. Me too. Really? <laughs> oh, oh. Yung hindi ka nag okay. then biglang, mm, seryoso na pala siya. Okay. Totoo yan. I was like, first time ko, tapos sabi ko, totoo ba to? Totoo ba siya? Parang hindi. Pero yun yeah. nga, just, um, it's true. She meant be careful pa rin, di ba? <gasps> There's a ring on the finger na. <laughs> so, sa <success> story, di ba? <laughs> so, I'm so happy for you. Well, that's a really yes. good story. Sorry na punta na sa love story na. Na sa okay lang. <laughs> I, just, I also wanted to share to them kasi Uh-oh. pag flight attendant ka, akala nila wala ka na magiging stable na love life kasi LDR, Or you end diba? up with a pilot. Oo, ganun. Oh, oh, ganun. Oh, So, Your husband is not airline related. Actually, he's working in the airport at the airport. Hmm. As a ground staff. Hindi nabilipad. Hindi hindi. Okay, so that's really nice. Because ano usually the assumption is either you marry a pilot. <laughs> Toto. Or you may, you know, mga fairy tale love story. You meet them in the flight. Or like Toto. Oh, wow, guys. Friends. Yes, you know, girls and boys. Because there are boys din. Ah, wag mo wala ng pag-asa. <laughs> Toto. Oh, flight attendant At saka... kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, but at least, di ba, you had the career, the love life. So I'm so yes. happy for you, Miss Rosa. Wow, yes. time flies so fast. No, we're now at this segment of our show where I'm going to ask you fire questions. Yay! So, it's <laughs> fire questions. This is like, um, parang. Parang fast talk lang, gano'n. Mm. Fast talk kayo yung abunda, gano'n. Uh, <laughs> so, I will ask you a question and then you have five seconds to answer each. Whatever comes to your mind, yung mga nauna ah. na lumabas, pops on your mind, you could just um, answer those. And then, yeah, maybe we could talk a little bit about it, but it has to be fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, I'm super ready. <laughs> super ready and I'm ready, so let's go. Okay.
first question. What is your favorite activity aside from flying? Music and art. Ooh, you sing? Mm-hmm. I sing a little bit. <laughs> Nahiya means. <laughs> uh, frustrated okay. lang. Uh, next question. Um, who is your number one inspiration in life? Oh yeah, I think I mentioned that. Ah oh, yeah, I you mentioned I mentioned I mentioned already. Yeah, my mom of course. Okay. And what is your favorite layover city? London. London. Love is in the air. Yes. <laughs> Um, what is the best food that you ever tried around the world? Um, for me, is the paella, a mm. Spanish dish. Yeah, because okay. uh, which uh, one? The, I... the speed one or anong which paella? There's a lot of. Oh, oh, yung seafood paella. Seafood paella. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, sarap nga yan. Okay, and then what is your favorite inspirational quote? Um, I always tell them about this. Um, okay, nakalimutan ko siya. <laughs> Kanina may na-mention ka, pero is it your uh, favorite? Baka oh, meron pang iba. Meron pang iba? Uh, ah, okay. When you want to give up, remember when you started. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Na block ako dona. Sorry guys. <laughs> Magbibilang na sana ako five. Oh. Uh, <laughs> si Boya bunda kasi di ba? Oh, Wala nang no, chance. Ah. <laughs> but thank you so much for sharing with us. Indeed, yeah. that is truly inspiring. Not just the inspirational quote, but your story your journey mm-hmm. and also thank you for sharing with us a little bit of your love life which is no killing <laughs> <laughs> and i know please if our re- if our readers <laughs> if our audience <laughs> wants to know more about you or you know stalk you online <laughs> stalk, <laughs> um, please uh, invite our audience so where they can find you Um, guys, you can follow me on my social media accounts, Rosette TP on my YouTube channel. I have also Instagram, Rosette DP underscore, and on my Facebook, um, Rosette De La Pena. Just follow me, guys, please. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead and follow yeah. Miss Rosette and keep up with her adventures right now while she's yes. in the UK. So, that's <laughs> Okay, so... Um, Yun nga, um, thank you for sharing with us. And you know, guys, you could also get more of Miss Rosette and me because we are going to do an event together, right, Miss Rosette? Yes, yes, yeah, super excited about this event. Yeah, we have an event yeah. coming up. I hope that you could join us. This is happening on January 2021. It's yes. called Galley Talks. It's an event mm-hmm. by Mr. Amor Maximo Speaks. And it's co-presented by Fly High Manila. So for our uh, audience who are familiar with, you know, flying, uh, Fly High Manila, yeah. one of the biggest uh, Facebook page of flight attendant mm-hmm. parents. So yeah. it's going to be the first virtual flight attendant conference, an event wherein we are gathered or kami na gathered kami 20 of your favorite flight attendant bloggers in one conference. So it's yeah. Like, a four-day event on January 2021 where the cabin crew will share their insights on different topics. I'm going to be on day two. Ikaw, Miss Rosette, what day are you going to be? Day two as well. Oh, we're together. together. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, go ahead, guys. Check it out. I'm going to put the description links of the event down below. And if you mm-hmm. want to get additional discount, use the hashtag RuthWarriors so you will get 10% discount on the event. So, yeah, kita mm-hmm. kita tayo online and meron din dong parang interaction after ng speaker, di ba? So, I'm yeah. excited about that. Q&A. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to interact with you all live. So, yes, check we it out. are. <laughs> also, yung mga links ni Miss Reset, I'm gonna put it on the description down below okay. so that so that you will see her, ano, see her okay. social media. 
<laughs> okay, so Miss Rosette, it has been a pleasure having you here and gracing Thank us you. presence here at Fly Talks. And I hope that we could guest you again, hopefully in the future. Hopefully. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> and Why yeah, not? <laughs> let's say goodbye na to our audience. Can you do the fly yeah. with me? Fly with you soon with me. Bye guys. Bye guys. Fly with, fly you, with soon. you soon. <laughs> On behalf of the flight crew, 